<laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm about to do a beast reaction video. This latest video that I just dropped. <coughs> okay, start, let's do Okay, let's do this, Mr. Big's reaction. What am I saying? I'm reacting to a Mr. Big's video, not Mr. Big's reaction video. Oh, is it Mr. Big's reaction video? Man, I forgot how to speak English well. Okay, well, let's just do that. I'm going to drop this heavy, beautiful mic as I'm reacting because holding this for this is a long video, so you get it. Let's just, I don't even know, let's just watch the video. I don't even know the video. It's a Mr. Big's video. Do you need to know the name? Just watch it and enjoy. Okay, let's drop it. Stay. Okay. I just dropped these two strangers off in the middle of the wilderness. These two guys have never met each other in their entire lives. <laughs> Every day the two of you survive in this wilderness, I'll give you ten thousand dollars. I hope you bought enough money, man. We're here for the long run. We'll do the math. Two years, three years, five years, ten thousand dollars every for five years. I, it's gonna run out. It's not going to get five years. But I'm just. Hey, put that camera down. Let's head out. All right, take right. care, boys. This video can make you guys millionaires. This is gonna be poor by the time we're out of here. I'm Hayes. Hayes, I'm Grizz. Nice to meet you, man. Grizz. Yeah. <laughs> Grizz. <Grizzle. laughs> okay, they are strangers, but after this, they're gonna be best friends for life. Man, these are men we're talking about. All right, you're gonna be my best friend for I the know. next however long. Starting now, these guys receive ten thousand dollars every day, with the only limit being how long they can survive. Which theoretically means they could win unlimited money. Dude, if we stay a year, we're both multi. But what if one decides to quit and you don't want your means? Did like is it, do they both have to stay here to get we'll, we'll yeah, find out we'll find out to find out to find a camping spot build a fire survive the night i guess we should just set up camp here for the rest of the night they gathered wood and went through their supplies we've got approximately five days worth of food two things of water looks like a change of clothes some warm jackets okay that's what we're talking about yeah. let's see if we can get a fire going yeah like the host on the this entertainment oh, yeah. time. we are good let's make beds like a different party. reality kind of show but at least we won't freeze to that tonight Day two. And in the morning, I showed up to give them their first ten thousand dollars. Come on, is, does it ever is, is it going to be flying over with a helicopter? Where is this place located, sir? So? Buzz, that was the first night. It's cold. It's been twenty-four hours, and I didn't walk over with ten grand. You're not gonna ask? Yeah, I guess we should, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> just look up. Oh my. Every 24 hours, we're going to drop $10,000 out of a plane for you guys. There's $10,000 in a parachuted briefcase. Catch it, catch it. Come on, Tyler, look at that. This is crazy. so rich by the end of this video. And on top of that money, this is your flare gun. Oh. Shoot it up in the air. The challenge ends for the both of you. And you walk away with the money you've won. So how long should we do it? Buried. Buried. for the year is crazy. All right, Buried. The is officially a year. We're going to split this in two. You get this. Yes. I get this. Now we can't screw each other over. But yeah. Later, video that plan doesn't this. exactly work all right i feel bad but i need to steal that flare gun i just gotta shoot this thing and i get to be a dad again if you fire that flare i literally think i'm gonna kill you well buddy <laughs> you ready to get rich absolutely <laughs> by day three you can see the boys are pretty tired of sleep oh yeah if you're watching this i think yeah, there's a registration on going on right now to appear in mr beast the amazon video is um, reality show is planning like the biggest giveaway, five million dollars. Can you imagine that? What people are going to win if you, man? Thing on the ground. <laughs> so after another ten grand, they started work on building their shelter. Gonna use my jacket to gather pine needles and layer them on the shelter. All right, I found this metal piece from a kid's swing set, and I think it's gonna work great for the roof of our shelter. Layer one on. Boom. Here's a section that we're working on. You can see it's got some structural poles. We get to use the parachutes and the cord, so we're gonna make a rain cover on our shelter. Everyone thinks probably that I'll be the reason we leave and fail this challenge. But this money would mean college for the kids. And then on day four, they started looking for a water source. Oh, there's a swamp. I would feel safe boiling that. Yeah, we gotta be careful because that stuff is full of bacteria and parasites. Mm -hmm. Ooh, just a touch of the swamp. All right, we're going to bed. Hopefully, Grace snuggles up because it's cold. <laughs> it's a haunt. It's a haunt. We need to go hunting the rain after hunt. Sleep. Hunting and gathering. If it rained right now, we probably have to go to the hospital. Do you hear me? Hunting and gathering. Okay, you understand? You understand? Right. Three. 
civilization kind of life. I'd do it for $10,000. And it wasn't just the freezing temperatures that were getting to them. We're at the end of our supplies. Grizz likes to call it a fast, which sounds so much nicer than starving. And for the next few days, the hunger problem didn't get any easier. We had a, a little square of beef jerky this morning, that's it. Jimmy gave us five days worth of food and it's day nine right now. These are green briar leaves. Grizz says they're edible, I guess. Mm. Yeah. It was clear by this point that the boys were extremely hungry. But lucky for them, I had a surprise waiting for them on day 10. They've officially survived 10 days. Woo! Here's your briefcase. Yeah. And don't leave. This is where the challenge gets interesting. Bring in the helicopter. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that I'm excited about. Uh -huh. To celebrate day 10, we have your first offer. I can tell you guys are tired of eating leaves. So I brought you guys an additional 10 days worth of food, spices, two tarps, and everything you would need to fit. All of this for $50,000 of your prize money. You want some beef jerky? Yes. Ooh. Don't eat it yet. Oh. These beans look good? Oh, absolutely. Oh, coffee. coffee. We're going to give you space. I'll be back in 10 minutes. He's, he's not kidding. This is literally all the things we would need to fish. 50 grand. 50 grand. They don't take this deal. I mean, they're kind of stupid. 10 days worth of food means they make 100 grand, and they only have to pay 50 grand for it. I'm doing them a favor. Should we talk to them now? Yeah. All right. All right. All right, Jimmy. If you make a decision in the next 60 seconds, I'll throw in two feastable bars. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, you still have 50 more seconds, but okay. Here, I'll put that in the pile for you. Thank you for the 50 grand. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the food. Oh, by the way, you also get the crate with it. Thank you! Yeah, I love that. It's definitely a deal we had to say yes to, but that week of food literally cost as much as my kids' college tuition. Hello! Hey! Hey! Bro, I still can't believe it every time this money falls out of the sky. The food from the crate will feed them for 10 days, but if they want to survive out here for a year... All right, the plan is officially a year. They'll still need to find more food in the wilderness. So some of you may be wondering, why have they not caught fish? Well, the swamp nearby has no fish in it. What we really need is a moving water that we can fish in. And while Hayes was rambling on about his kids... And my two-year-old doesn't sleep very well either, so... This happened. I think being a dad... <gasps> what is this? <gasps> Creek. This is not a swamp, this is actually moving water. There's fish in here. Dude, look at this. It's like a dock. This is the perfect place for food and shelter. And after another few days full of a surprise freezing rainstorm, Boo, at least now we have $100,000. They decided to move and upgrade their shelter near their newfound water source. Good morning, Grizz. How are you always up earlier? <laughs> We're gathering up a bunch of dead trees we can use for our structure. And then we balance them together into an A-frame shape and cut the trees to the right length. Oh! Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, come on, man. I'm glad I broke your fall. <laughs> sorry. All right, so maybe they had a bit of a false start. But once they got the structure back up, they spent the entire next day putting their finishing touches on their shelter. They even built a fishing dock to help them catch more food. Dock's done. Pleasantly surprised. And now all we got to do is catch a fish. Come on. Yeah. Right? And as good as this was, without sleeping bags, the winter night was still unforgiving. On a really cold night, cold toes, cold feet, no sleeping bag. So I think I knew what my next offer was. It's day 20 and they moved super deep in the woods, so now we have to get there by boat. Do you hear that sound in the distance? What did you say? Is that a boat? Any minute now when we find them, I've got a fun offer for them. How's it going, boys? Hey, guys. Hey, hey. What's going on? Two things. First, the plane needed maintenance, so I'm delivering this by hand. Hey, all right. $10,000, which puts you guys at $140,000. And second, we have an offer for you. Ooh. Reveal your offer. Just go ahead and take it off. Here it is. Ooh. Oh. You can either give me $10,000 for that red sleeping bag or give me $50,000 and you get both sleeping bags. What? Five times the amount for both. Oh, man. Did I take it out? Yeah, we should look at it. Yeah, check them out. Hang on, I just gotta do this. <laughs> <laughs> These are the same sleeping bags we used in Antarctica. They work very well. Here's the weather forecast. It's gonna get pretty cold next week, so. Yeah. Highly recommend you at least buy one. When we started this thing out, we were in the 20s without anything. Uh -huh. We've adapted to it. We have bedding, we have pine straw. We're doing pretty well in these low temperatures. I would love to have a sleeping bag, but $50,000 is. I sleep closer to Grizz than I do my wife, so. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> You're actually gonna say no to both? A really cool night. No sleeping bag. 
Yeah, so I think uh, I think it's final. We don't want it. Yeah, agreed. Wow, not even a single sleeping bag. All right, boys, close it up. Sure, the boys could survive without sleeping bags, but that didn't solve their food problem. In between sitting out rainy days, the boys got into a bit of a routine where they would boil water, work on their shelter, and try to catch fish, which wasn't really working out for them. We got some guts for bait. We're gonna cast them out, and uh, hopefully the fish come up off the bottom of the creek. Day after day of failing to catch any fish. Let's go check the lines. See if any catfish are on. They finally caught a wind in their sails. Oh, 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 Grizz! Or whatever that abomination of Mother Nature was. What is that? Can I eat it? First fish, it's an eel. And I think I'm gonna charcoal grill it. We're gonna have ourselves some American style unagi. This is the first thing that we've caught <laughs> out here in 27 days, which is insane. We're happy to have it and we're gonna make it delicious. I don't know if this is what I would call delicious, but the fact that they haven't had a fresh meal in almost 30 days means even a rock would taste good to them at this point. It's excellent. It's so good. <laughs> it's really, it's just like amazingly good. If we keep catching fish like this, we can easily stay for a year, bro. Dude, yeah, $3.6 million. Good night. And on day 28, they started constructing their raised bed system in their new shelter. So it's gonna be two tripods, one, two, side rails going down, slats across, and then a nice, pine needle mattress made out of parachutes. And after seeing their new shelter become more and more comfortable, I was starting to get worried that I was gonna have to pay these guys millions of dollars. The only regret that I have, they're not bunk beds. Uh, that's honestly an L. They were betting everything on their new shelter being right next to this creek, but that may have been a huge mistake because they couldn't catch another eel to save their lives. <sighs> Snapped it. At this point, I've spent more time in the wilderness than I have with my newborn son. I also have a two-year-old with my wife alone. How do you explain to a two-year-old that daddy's gonna be gone and he won't talk to you and he won't call you and he won't see you? Say they were making us an offer. What would be something that you would actually buy? We spend a lot of time out here trying to get firewood. You know, having firewood dropped off would be really nice. I'd probably pay $10,000 for that. We are literally in the middle of the forest. I couldn't tell you where we are anymore. All right. How's it going, boys? Doing great, man. How are you? As a reward for surviving an entire month, I brought you a store. Ooh, okay. You see, we come through all of your vlog footage and we wrote down everything you've asked for, such as firewood, a shovel, cooking supplies, bedding, and even books and board games. It's like a dollar store, but everything costs 10 grand. Is this your store? Feel free to shop. We've won 240 grand. Might as well check it out. What are these? Those are mosquito nets. Oh, we'll use parachutes. We don't need this. All right, what about the hammocks? I like the hammocks, but you know, we haven't tried making them out of parachutes yet. All right, guys, answer this. What could you not make out of parachutes? A lot. All right, well, do you guys want the firewood? How much so, wood? That's the wood you get. If it came with unlimited wood, I would buy it. I offered them literally everything they could possibly need here, and they still weren't interested. I was beginning to think these two were secretly Navy SEALs or something. You guys gonna buy literally anything. You make 10 grand a day. What's another 10 grand? I gotta say no. All right. In a million years, would not have thought they would say no to everything. Next time, I'm gonna convince you two to spend money. We're looking forward to it. Yeah, man. See you, Jimmy. There he goes. In his tank. Stop right here. I have a special surprise for all of you. Nolan, what does this look like? <laughs> a lot of phones. A thousand phones to be exact. Because <laughs> over the next seven days, I'm gonna be giving a thousand random people that subscribe a free Samsung Galaxy S24. I literally spent over a million dollars on these phones and I'm giving them away to you. All you have to do to enter to win one of these phones is subscribe. It's literally free. I just want you to know I appreciate everything you guys have been doing for the channel. It means the world to me. Subscribe, win one of these phones. And so they continue. I don't need the terms of my offer. But go figure, okay. in the next few days, just they won't be able to catch If you get if you if you're Mr. Beast Fang, that's what I'm talking about, right? We just beat um, Mr. Beast, yeah, who you are, the subscribers, the fans. We just beat this series, okay? Okay, capish? So, yeah. What if you have you've been subscribed for years? Just bring on the phone, bring on the phone, bring on the phones. Let's win, let's win. Any fish. And even though the money kept coming, they were running out of food and time to catch it quickly. I what about white life? Why didn't we fish? fish? I think that we have for white life. two days worth of food left. That's not real. Without a boat, this creek is not productive. We gotta go to that river. If I can get to that river and the fishing is good, 
That'll turn all this around. And with their rations running yeah. dangerously low, they're only by getting food Rush to for the river. Rush the for the river. the river on the other side in hopes of catching some fish. It's risky wasting all these calories, but I have to do it if we're going to make it any further. But after a grueling hike, Hayes finally found what he was looking for. Oh my gosh. Woo! Look at that. It's the river. Is that not the same? Come on, I'm flew into my pond. I'm going to come on, let's try it. Finding this river is probably the difference between us. You know, there should be a channel or something for just the cameraman. And look, because those guys are hats off to them. I'm not wearing any half. Glasses, glasses off to them. Okay? The cameramen are phenomenal. They never die. They, they don't get tired. They're everywhere. They're invisible. They're quiet. But they're the most important part of the whole video because without them, there is no video making our goal and us tapping out early. Fortunately, he had a secret weapon. Grizz and I made our own fishing pole and this is gonna make catching fish easy. <laughs> With Hayes' makeshift fishing pole immediately breaking, he was going to have to use his hands and he spent hours trying <laughs> and failing. Oh no! And if he couldn't catch any fish without immediately dropping them, the calories burned coming here would have been for nothing. But just when he was ready to give up, this one's gonna be it. Yeah! Holy moly! Yes! I told you it was that one! Woo and the luck didn't stop there. I cannot wait to bring this back to Grizz. He's gonna be so stoked. We're eating tonight! Hey! Alright, that's awesome! Feels like this is our first real food in ages. But in the meantime, I was preparing an offer that I know they could have received. It's day 40, they've made over a third of a million dollars, and I have an incredibly <laughs> special offer for them. For $10,000, and I think you're really gonna like this, you both can see your wives. In fact, they're watching right now. Oh my god, oh my are you guys. serious? Oh man! I can't let down my kid. I know, I can't let down my wife. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs> This is a double-edged sword, right? Because when you see them, you not start missing them more. The next day, you feel the impact when they're when they're no longer. The, the door. If I was the one, I want to see them through video camera, not live. Go and see them live. I can. That's a double-edged sword. See them live, not through video. So bad. Oh. Hi, Talia. As nice as it was to see their families, the visit was also bittersweet. Because there's one big question see, on it's everyone's it's mind. It's How long do you want us to stay? I want you home now. <laughs> like, I do. I know you want me home. But yeah, good to regret it later on. Yes, she needs you. It's, it feels yes, like you, you want to move now, but later on, you're going to regret that you didn't get a bit of that money. I don't care what the other guy says. You've made enough money. Uh, you uh, home. People don't, people don't picture these things. That conversation was so difficult. You don't picture these things now, because later on, you will need that money. Because that money is, is a secure blanket, security blanket for the future. Like, very, very massive security blanket. This is the sacrifice you make for the future. Well, what, what am I to say? I'm not your family. I'm not their family. I'm just watching. Go for me. Even so, yesterday was a really good day. It had all of the things that I love. It had my. Oh yeah, remember when I said it's a double-edged sword? It's a double-edged sword. That was my reason. Family, my wife, my kids, my buddy Grizz. So that was like a really huge gift. Oh, they're gone now. Um, yeah, sorry I'm posting this. I'm just pissed. Okay, this is one of the advantage of having a very, very huge support family system. If you had a huge support family system, like brother, sister, cousins, and the wife's family is huge, like all these massive Italian Greek families, they'll have people supporting her that the wife won't even, to not to your absence, but they themselves will tell the wife that she should be patient, she should wait. They will advise her. Mm. Guy, don't, don't, don't mess this up. At least get to a million. Just get to a million. Hold her and know that she was safe. It really has changed the way that I'm viewing this entire challenge. Knowing I have my wife's support, I want to stay until I have a million dollars. <laughs> and after some much needed family time, Hayes and Grizz were much happier than I'd ever seen them. Hayes and Grizz. 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 I am Bush. <laughs> Let's smoke some fish. Look at that. Oh, they created a smoker. Even when something happened that would have totally drained them before. Oh! 400,000. By now, they didn't even seem to mind. 
It looks like someone had a gender reveal, and the gender was just money. Even though their spirits were high, there was still a problem they needed to solve. In order to get to the river to fish, they would first need to trudge through this giant swamp. So they but if over. they had a boat, they would easily be able to float down the creek to the river. I am building a boat. The idea is to create a frame with sticks and then attach our tarp so the whole thing can float. Not feeling super confident in the boat build. If we can get down to fish without having to tromp through a whole swamp, it's worth the risk. Time for the first sea trial of my beautiful ship. And this is pretty ironic, considering the offer I was about to bring them. It's day 50, let's see how they're doing. Hey. Uh, bro, you guys have a village now. Wait, are you serious? You built a boat? Yeah, man. You're telling me this thing can actually float. You wanna try it? Uh, yeah, I don't. I, oh my gosh, it actually worked. He built a freaking boat in the woods. All right, now that I'm aware of that, this changes a lot of things. <laughs> it's actually insane that you two built a boat yesterday because I brought the two of you a boat with this Zaxby's restaurant on. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Before I present the offer, I want to make sure you're in a really good state of mind. This is our- What is Zaxby's? Yeah, what is Zaxby's? Brand new Mr. Beast box, which are now <laughs> locked at every single Zaxby's across America. Wicked. Oh my god, that is so good. The Mr. Beast box comes with the best tasting chicken known to man. And the cool part is every single meal comes with a Feastables bar. Our goal with this collab was to take the world's best chicken and pair it with the world's best chocolate. Indeed. Zaxby's also has 12 sauces. <laughs> like so many yeah, yeah, it's 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 what is that? That's really good. It's a Zax sauce. Look how happy they are. If you want to be happy like them, visit <laughs> Zaxby's and get the Mr. Beast box right now. Now that you guys have gotten your Meals. Your day 50 offer is for 50 grand. You can have this boat. We don't have a motor. We don't have any way to get this thing around. So you just use sticks. Oh Lord, I don't know. Since you weirdly built the boat the day before, I'll give you a discount. We'll make it forty thousand dollars. My answer is I love the ship I made. I trust it with my life. So I'm gonna leave it up to Grant. For forty thousand dollars, I'm gonna pass on the boat. Yes. I'll get in Hayes's death trap instead. If that sinks and you have to quit. I try. We appreciate the food. That was lovely. Bye, Jimmy. I'll see you next time. So this ship saved us $40,000. Still a death trap. Hey, 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 hey. Man, when we first started this thing, it was in the dead winter. Do you remember how cold it was? Yeah, now everything is so nice and warm. And spring was now in full bloom. And they were looking pretty comfortable. There's a lot of flowers here. I can't say that I mind it. What is it? What is it? I'm also haunted. I'm also haunted. I'm also haunted. Such traps, man. Oh, he's got traps. This briefcase puts yeah, us at four hundred and forty thousand. Such traps. Yeah, Time to build the Hazy Grizzle Lexi. Eighty percent of what we're sitting on here is going straight to my business. In this case. No, I don't want Katie to work twenty-four hour shifts anymore. This money's going to do so much for her and our family. But while the warmer weather was nice, it presented new problems like snakes. Don't want to get bit by that. And rats. Get out of here! Every ah, night. Oh my god! And it wasn't long until the lack of sleep started to make them irritable. Ah, uh, looks like Hayes is struggling to get over here. Hayes, do you need my help? What does it look like? You want to paddle up river into the wind? Hayes, why don't you go get those uh, fishing lines fixed? You know what? You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. He's just angry. Can you check those lines while you're over there? What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> oh, I was just asking. Thank you for telling me to do what I'm already doing once again. <laughs> Keep in mind, at this point, Hayes and Grizz were very close friends. But Hayes had reached the end of his rope, and the jokes just weren't hitting the same anymore. <sighs> Grizz's idea about how this would unwind is not working, obviously, because it's a stupid idea. Hayes, I'm sorry, buddy. I did not know I was actually pissing you off. I thought that I did not know that you were actually upset. It's all right. <laughs> Okay. And so, feeling frustrated, Hayes turned off his camera and paddled down river, where he set up his camp until the next day. Hayes has uh, set sail. I think he may have run away. I'll certainly be thinking about him. I know it's supposed to be cold at night. He's not back in a couple days. So I'm going to have to go looking for him. Let's do something to cheer him up. So we got a huge board over here that was left by Jimmy at the last beast drop, and I'm going to repurpose it into a table with some of our cases. This is its actually pretty sturdy. And when Hayes returned home, he was not empty-handed. Sounds like Hayes has returned from his great adventure. Nice! Oh, those are sea trout! I'm pretty wiped out. Mind if I take a minute? No, man, do your thing. Chris! Yeah, buddy. What's this? It's our table. We have a table? Yeah. Oh man! Yeah, I figured that perked him up a little bit. This is a hundred thousand dollar table, Grizz! Well, 
Welcome back, buddy. It's good to be home. Come on. <laughs> but their survival needs met, and their I love friendship restored. I love you, so man. still were made. Okay, people, let's vote. Is this the, like, just in the comments, is this the best Mr. Fizz video ever? I know we love the Squid Game and the everything, but this video is just too... The em emotional, adventure, suspense, everything is like... Mm -hmm. And it's reality, it's like a reality TV show again. Better than a reality TV show because it's not scripted. I can tell you that. I know many things are edited, a touch of removal, blah blah blah, to make it more... How long will they stay? We gotta have a serious conversation. Yeah. The end. One million. Honestly, I get to million. five days ago. Maybe push like an extra week. I mean, hell, that's $35,000 each. If I pulled that flare on day 70, how would you feel? I would feel uh, uh, really let down and lied to. I propose at day 70, we have a conversation, decide if we're gonna push further. That's fair. I promised Chris that I would stay longer for him but I'm not happy about it. Good morning, guys. So, Hayes has been a little upset. I'm seeing it. He's keeping to himself, you know, so I'm a little worried about him. Spoken to Grizz about it. He wants me to stay longer. He's kind of pushing me to stay longer and stay longer. At some point, I gotta stop being a wilderness guy and go be dad. Another day. Yeah. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I knew that was gonna happen. I saw it. Oh, no. Hey, is going to check out the case that is dropped from the sky. Day 70. I'm gonna see if Grizz is good being done today. Let's see what he says. What are we gonna do with all this money? Kinda wanna talk to you about that. I'm kinda ready to hit the flare. What do you think about that? I don't wanna stay longer. I know that, that you've gotta pull away from this thing with family. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We've talked about it a thousand times. I just wanna know how you feel about it today. Yes or no? Can you go one more day? Give yourself 24 hours just to kind of feel it out. I thought a lot about it, but you want to go another day, let's go another day. How's it going, boys? How are you, buddy? Good. Let's go on a little walk to walk. We can go over here. Let's say Hayes isn't a part of the equation. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many more days do you think you could survive out here? Let's call it 45 days would okay. probably be as far as I'd go. How many do you think he has left in the tank? He yeah, talks yeah. about it every day. How often do you think about shooting the flare? Every day. What stops you? At this stage, Chris, you know, he wants to make a million dollars, and it's hard to say no to that. I have an obligation to him, too. But it's starting to go towards this family. This is like yeah. a pendulum, you right? shoot that flare, that's going to be crazy. Oh, I can't wait. <sighs> Spoke okay last night. Mm -hmm. I don't want to disappoint Grizz, but... Just three to it, five to it, five to it. I can make it 700, I can make it 700. I thought it would be cool to, to come back here to our first camp where I was shoulder to shoulder with Grizz every single night. And after that it was like, all right, dude, we're brothers now. I expected to walk away with a lot of money, but I didn't expect to walk away with, like, a friend for life. And that's so meaningful to me. I kind of got to think about what's right for me and my family. <laughs> this is hey, hard, this is, so hard. This, this, is hard. this is so hard, Come on, Mr. Rest. this is so hard, this is so hard, so, <sighs> <sighs> so emotional, this is just so emotional. It's such a such this video is beautiful. Really went into Grizz's bag and stole the flare gun, even it. though it was his idea to separate it into two parts. Pass At this moment. point, all I have to do is shoot this thing, and I get to be a dad again, you know? I know this thing is, is very challenging. What we're doing out here is not easy. I really truly do believe that you're doing what's right for your family. I disagree. You're providing for them in a way that's no, going to change their lives. Now it's gone the other way. Now it's, I think I need, I need to be there. I think that you've been really upset and you've been missing your family really bad. I, f I feel like I think the money doesn't matter. People the take, money doesn't the money take off 350. You take, okay, it's a little money less. I'm just giving them some money, just some 350. By the time you pay taxes, school for two kids 
and everything you put all those money in this time inflation and everything just everything is the price of everything has risen because of inflation 250 is not a lot man it's a lot of money all right it's okay for many people it's more that they will make people like people that earn 35 50 thousand dollars a year is a lot but if forgetting the tax you have to pay once you pay that tax from 250 it comes down to this then you clear your debts if because I'm assuming you have debts but then you clear your debts and everything it just starts sinking it's not so like you just take that 350 directly and put it in your business and start making profits from it directly it doesn't work that way you have to build something it takes time to build something and you have a family to take man bro I can't, I can't be the one that's spreading this one really the only thing that's keeping me here is you and I'm sick of it yeah Market when he's me too, you know. And you're very good at, you know, manipulating. <laughs> this is not manipulating, it's convincing you. Oh, man. I, I, I can't judge. I don't know what it's like to have moment, a Chris was going to have to make a decision. Convince I don't know what it's like to have kids. Continue kids surviving in these woods for more and more money. Or be there for his friend when he needed him the most. I can't imagine having gone through this experience with with anyone else i mean i really do like that's true we think you'd be like a brother but you have to take on the future man take on the future i'm sorry that i just pushed you on and on and on i just don't let you down you're not letting me down yeah i am brothers don't let each other down this is the way it is everything (laughs) everything's got to come to an end sometime let me see that player I owe you this, and to be honest with you, I'm sorry that it's taken so long. I think it's time for us to do this thing better. Okay. Lovely. Do you know it's beautiful? Because this, the, this guy made a, what's his name? The grizzly guy made a sacrifice for the other guy because he could have stayed longer. Could have, but you could see that that guy was beating down. That's what you do for your brother. When you see your brother down, you just have to call it quits that time. You just start pushing him further. It's just, it's, it's, it becomes greed. You're just pushing him for yourself. So. Okay. I don't know. Sorry for posting this again, but you took of human nature. Did this video really go like this or did they make it like. I, I, don't, know, I, I don't want to speculate. But I love this. I love this. <laughs> I think they shot the player. No, you take that one. Let's go check it out. Rich! Rich! <laughs> Boy, hey, Jimmy. Oh my god. We dropped them off. This is what they look like. And here's them 74 days later. Crazy. Yes, they look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't left these woods in 74 days. Dude, I'm so ready. One final surprise. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> After 74 days, they've won $670,000. In case you forgot, we're giving away a thousand Samsung phones to random yeah, people. Yeah, please subscribe. Come on, send my phone. Subscribe button right now. Mister B, send my phone, okay? I'm subscribed. I need my phone. Okay, thank you. Oh, this is a beautiful video to watch. This is a beautiful video to watch. It's long, right? It's not even this. This is going to be hard, but. Why am I complaining? It's a Mr. Beast video. Okay. Thank you for watching. I know you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed it. Like, this video is impactful. This, like, come, like I said, vote. This is the best Mr. Beast video you've ever watched. Think about it. He just, he, Jimmy just keeps getting better and better and better and better and better and better. And better, and better, and better, and better. The video was impactful. So, so, so. The suspense was crazy. Like, it's just like it was emotional, okay? It's just like a roller coaster, emotional roller coaster for me. So thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh yeah, like like Mr. Beast says, subscribe to win an iPhone. Subscribe to him to win an iPhone. Subscribe me, just follow me and enjoy. Thank you. Peace out.